Hi guys, Frank here with Build Your Own and this is my 2005 Volkswagen New Beetle Turbo and in this video we're going to install a set of genuine Volkswagen New Beetle floor mats. Specifically these are the Mojo mats, carpeted mats and anthracite otherwise known as black that you can purchase right from the Volkswagen website. These mats fit every Volkswagen New Beetle from 1998 to 2010 and every convertible Volkswagen New Beetle from 2003 to 2010. I'll make sure to put the part number in the description below. So I actually purchased these uh, Mojo mats a couple of weeks ago at my local Volkswagen dealer along with the oval plastic grommets because as you can see here, this particular Beetle has the oval grommets and the rugs come, the mats come with the round grommets. So I ordered the oval plastic grommets and well one set of them came round. Yeah, this original set of them came round so when I was going to do the video before I had the round ones and so I couldn't do the video but I wanted to use the mats so I reordered the same it, they actually have the same part number they actually have the same part number but these in fact are oval so you want to make sure yours are oval if you have the oval grommets so now that we have the right grommets let's go ahead and uh, get those fitted to the mats so we can secure them to the car. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing we'll do, however, is vacuum out the car, vacuum the mats. So we'll do that first, then we'll go ahead and replace those round grommets with the oval grommets. Okay, so we got the car all vacuumed out, we got the carpets all cleaned up and vacuumed up. Now what we need to do is we need to take out these round, uh, round grommets and replace them with these oval grommets. I think it's pretty straightforward. Let's let's find out. Oh, so real quick, I actually do have one original mat left from this car. I think the color is called flannel gray. And we can see here, even on the original mat, the grommet was black, even though the little thing that's in the carpet is gray. Okay, so here's a set of the grommets that are opened up and they look pretty, it looks pretty straightforward. You got two different sizes and you can see that one, that these, with the ridge on here definitely snap down onto the other one so i think it's going to be as easy as getting a very thin uh flathead screwdriver in here and just prying this apart and then putting these other ones in here making sure they're in the right direction turn sideways and then we should be good to go let's give that a shot okay confirmed it is about that simple these snap together a little bit different the round ones than the oval ones but yeah, you get a screwdriver under there, you gotta do a little wiggling and twisting and pulling up, but it comes up pretty easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these round grommets and then, uh, well, let's go ahead and actually remove this other round grommet and then we'll go ahead and fit it to this mat, see how that looks. So you see I have a rubber mallet here and so you see where I'm going with this. So I thought I was gonna be able to just, you know, put one of these or put this one underneath here and then put the other one on top and then just kind of squeeze it together. Not so much, it, it takes a little more pressure than that. I found that it's easier to do these upside down. It seems like this piece is the piece that's on the top side of the carpet, right? So this piece is gonna go upside down so it can go underneath the carpet here. Let's get that underneath the carpet. So we get this piece underneath the carpet like so and get it all lined up in sideways and then you go ahead and line your piece up on there and you get it all flat just like so. And then, yeah, something like a mallet, something like that. Give it one just nice little, you don't have to, you don't have to crack it super hard, but, uh, and that'll go ahead and snap it down in place. So it, it, it's, it's easy, but yeah, you're gonna need a tool or two. You're gonna need a flathead screwdriver to go ahead and pry up the old one. And then you'll need a mallet or something like that to go ahead and, I'm sure you might be able to press down hard enough with the heel of your hand or something like that but I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a light whack. There we go. Okay, so we got one mat done and uh, looks like a professional install. They're nice and sideways. I'm sure you can turn them, yeah, you can turn them a little bit if you need to make micro adjustments. So this one's ready to go back in the car. We'll go ahead and do the other three. So here I am working on the last mat and I just took the, the round grommets out. I actually took them out by hand. I didn't use the screwdriver. The last mat I just did, I actually pressed the oval grommets in without using the mallet. So the reason why I'm stopping to tell you is that yeah, you know, using the mallet does make sure you get a nice firm and everything's locked and snapped in place. But sure, you could press down and that's gonna work. And yeah, you could dig underneath 
the, uh, the grommet and, and pull it up as opposed to using a screwdriver. So you don't have to use tools. They just may possibly make the job a little easier for you. Okay, we got all the round grommets exchanged out and swapped out for the oval grommets. They're all ready to go back in the car. Uh, these mats look great. I love the little Beetle logo that are on the two front mats. This is the driver mat. This is the passenger mat, and then we got the two in the back. So let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and put them in the car. We'll see how they look. Okay, the mats are installed in the car. They look great. We can see that uh, now we can lock the mats now so they don't slide around. Now, I left the back seat up like this because I think when you put in the back mat, I think it's easiest to move this seat all the way forward. Otherwise, you're trying to jam the mat underneath the seat rail here, and it just doesn't work too well. So moving it out of the way, makes getting the, uh, the mat in a lot easier. Okay, so before we wrap this video up, let's hop online, let's get the part number for the Mojo mats, and let's also confirm that part number for these oval grommets. Okay, so here we are on the Volkswagen website, and yeah, here they are, those Mojo mats, carpeted mats in anthracite. Here's the part number right here. Looks like they have a different uh, design as well they've got some mojo mats that are black with uh black surging and they say beetle instead of having the beetle car icon i guess i like the car ones better they're both 105 dollars but seeing that i install the ones with the uh, the anthracite ones i'm going to give you the part number for the anthracite ones and then they got the floor mat clips oval and there's the part number for those but it looks like they have some for round but then there's a couple things here that are missing pictures not sure why but i'll give you the part number for the oval clips here and the anthracite mats those will be in the description below okay so we're gonna wrap this video up that was it uh very very easy to install those mats and they came out great so if you found this video helpful informative or entertaining please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching